This should be where Kokomi said to meet her. Do you still remember this place? Paimon remembers we came by here last time we visited Watatsumi Island. That was back when you did your stint as captain of Swordfish 2. Hmm. Paimon's curious whether the Resistance troops still remember you. Things on the island must have changed a lot since then. Oh, shall we take a look around? If the enemy outnumbers you, seek their weakness and exploit it. If you outnumber the enemy, seek unequivocal domination and crush them. Marauders on the waterfront are supplied by sea. Burning their ships is the path to success. Hmm. General Goro, sir, do, do you have a verdict? More or less. From the directives left behind by Her Excellency, we can surmise that a Fatui ship is moored nearby. This explains their aggressive posture. We could split into two teams, one to draw their attention and the other to circle around behind enemy lines and set fire to their ship. They'd have nowhere to run. Then again, Madame Kokumi made clear that we are not to split up without sufficient forces. We'd risk being picked off one by one until our whole line of defense disintegrated. Sir, shall I send for reinforcements? I doubt there's time. Based on their movements, they'd likely be gone before our troops arrived. Her Excellency's directives also stipulate that we should wait in ambush and avoid making the first move. Since we lack sufficient troops, I don't think we can afford to engage the enemy at this time. Sir, we're just gonna stand by and watch them leave? Surely there must be another way. Her Excellency's directives also state help may arrive when all seems lost. As for where this help is supposed to come from, I... Hey, Goro! What are you guys up to? Captain, you've returned to Watatsumi Island. That's great! Her Excellency's directives are as reliable as ever. You've arrived just in time. Recently, the remnants of the Fatui forces have been unusually active. We've been monitoring their movements waiting in ambush here. Unfortunately, we don't have the manpower to split into two teams. Can we ask you to keep them occupied? Hard to say no when it's the Fatui. Whatever they're planning, we won't let them get away with it. Good. There's not a moment to lose. We'll go behind enemy lines and sabotage their ship. Let's meet back here afterward. Watch yourselves. We'll be back shortly. Seems like the Resistance still remembers us. Come on, let's help them get this situation under control. Into the wind! Take flight! Comrades! They've set the ship on fire! An arson attack! Curse them! They leave us no choice but to attack! Comrades, let's make them regret it! We were lucky to have you here. We'd have no way to prevent their escape without you. What's that you're holding? Is it the directors from Kokomi? Let Paimon see! Oh, wow! This is a whole book! Is it all Kokomi's directives? Yeah. Well, no, not all of them. I have five more volumes with me. Are you serious? Her Excellency always plans for every scenario. Plus, these are her general operational directives, which are more comprehensive than most. Still, we're fortunate to have them. They make sure we're prepared for every eventuality, no matter how complex. Oh, understanding every eventuality sounds tiring enough, let alone writing them all down. Must have taken Kokomi a heck of a long time. Captain, are you back on Watatsumi Island to lead Swordfish 2 again? We've all been feeling your absence. Her Excellency says that now is a time of peace and that we should reduce the size of the military and focus on helping the civilian population return to normal life. About half of us are still organized into task forces, supporting the platoons. The other half have been given various other functions like patrol, construction, and farming. Of course, not everyone's happy about it. 
The other day, an old buddy of mine was grumbling about being forced to build houses. Said they'd have to drag him away from the front line, kicking and screaming. <laughs> the spirit of the resistance is alive and well, huh? Anyway, we're here because Kokomi invited us to the victory feast. Do you know where we can find her, Koro? I believe Her Excellency is currently at Boro Village. There were reports of a possible disturbance over there. If I'm not mistaken, Her Excellency has gone to deal with it in person. We should probably get going ourselves. And, uh, <clears throat> also, on your way over, please check in on the soldiers. I'm sensing a growing unease among them, but I don't know what's causing it. They won't say. They used to tell me all their concerns, but whatever this is, they're keeping it hidden. I don't like it one bit. I suspect there's trouble afoot. Sounds good! Hyma was just thinking it'd be good to see everyone again. Ready when you are! Wait, aren't you... Captain of Swordfish too? Oh, it is you! Oh, you have our gratitude. Watatsumi Island wouldn't have come to peace without your efforts. I wasn't with Swordfish too, But I, I did see you in Tatarasuna. Oh, you really gave it to those Shogunate Samurai in the fight of honor? <laughs> oh, it was quite the show. Is there anything you need from me? I'm at your service. Uh, on edge, you say? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've noticed it, too. In fairness, the battle isn't long over, and, well, perhaps it isn't quite over for them. You know what I mean? Every single person looked death in the face that day. That's not an experience you forget in a hurry. Victory's declared, and all of a sudden, the fighting's over. But people can't just snap back into normal life again. I think things will improve, but... It's gonna take some time. I don't know what else it could be, but what I do know is that as long as Her Excellency is with us, Watatsumi Island is safe. And all the more so now that you're back. Seriously, if there's ever anything you need, just say the word. What a nice guy. Let's go ask some other people. Peace at last. Live in the dream. Hmm. Don't I know you? I've definitely seen you somewhere before. Can't place you, but I'm guessing you're not with the Shogun's army. So, do you need something? Unsettled? Hmm. Un unsettled how? I haven't noticed anything. Not that I would, necessarily. I keep to myself, mostly. They're all too rowdy for me. We're at peace now, finally, and I for one intend to make the most of it. My life right now is about two things and two things only. The sun and the sea breeze. <sighs> Sorry that I can't be more help to you. I'll tell you someone you could ask, though. San Gonamiya. She knows everything. Huh. Seems he's about to fall asleep. Let's leave him to rest and go find someone else to ask. Ugh. I don't understand what Her Excellency is thinking. I mean, peace talks? Give me a break. Why would she agree to that? Exactly. Everyone knows you can't trust the Tenryo Commission. I heard they've been secretly coordinating with the Fatui and plan to continue their attacks. Wait, for real? You're sure of this? Positive. Some of our guys had a run-in with a few Fatui. They caught them conspiring together firsthand. I knew it! The Tenryo Commission are a bunch of crooks. They'll never change. Honestly, it's kind of naive for Her Excellency to take them at their word, isn't it? Shh! Keep your voice down. Someone's coming. 
Uh, uh, Captain, you're back. Do you think we should tell the Captain about what we were discussing just now? No, no, let's not mention it. He's one of her closest advisors. For all we know, the peace talks could have been his idea. I'm sure the Captain would see where we're coming from, but you're right. We should probably play it safe. <clears throat> uh, welcome back to Watatsumi Island, Captain. Nothing to report here. Everything is A-OK. -okay. Her Excellency should be in the village at present. Head straight over if you wish, Captain. Hmm. Paimon definitely detected some hush-hush going on there. But if they aren't gonna talk, we might as well head over to the village. Admit it! We know you've been secretly supplying the Tenryo Commission with goods purchased on Watatsumi Island. I knew something was off about a Tenryo Commission merchant doing business here. So, what do you have to say for yourself, huh? I'm innocent! Ha! You're as guilty as they come. You never should have been allowed to set foot on this island, let alone do business here. Take him away! Wait! Kokomi, there you are! Something's going down over here! You should take a look, pronto! Your Excellency, this merchant is suspected of criminal activity, so we seized him for questioning. Our surveillance shows that in his whole time here, he has made numerous purchases, but no sales. And yet, he has no stock in his possession. We believe it's highly probable that he has been supplying the Tenryo Commission behind the scenes. I... I haven't! I, uh... That will do. Let's not let ourselves get too worked up here, shall we? Everyone take a deep breath with me. In... and out. Better? Matsuda, Uchimura, I understand that you're concerned for the safety of Watatsumi Island. But before we make any decisions over whether this merchant is guilty or not, we must give him the chance to explain himself. If he's guilty, of course, there will be consequences. But if he's innocent, he doesn't deserve to be falsely accused. This is Watatsumi Island. We deal in facts, not opinions. Excuse me, sir. As you know, my subordinates have some concerns surrounding your commercial activity here. Perhaps you could explain your side of the story to help me reach a verdict. Of course! I can explain everything. <laughs> Um, I, I'm a trader on the island, so naturally I built up some inventory. I was planning to hold off on selling until the prices went up, but then, um, uh, <laughs> mm, uh, uh, oh, oh, but then I was robbed by the Fatui. They took everything. Now, you think about that. First I lose all my inventory, then I get treated like a criminal. Hmm. And why should we believe you? So what? That doesn't prove they took his goods. And even if they did, it'll still end up in the Tenryo Commission's hands. They're in this together. What? The Tenryo Commission are colluding with the Fatui now? This is the first I've heard of it. Ah, I suppose it is true. What's that got to do with me? What, the Tenryo Commission start colluding with the Fatui after the fighting's already finished? Hmm, seems unlikely to Paimon. We met a representative of the Kujo clan recently. It doesn't seem like he'd have the time to be colluding right now. But on the way over here, we accidentally on purpose overheard some soldiers mention the exact same thing. Huh. Kokomi, do you know anything about it? It has been brought to my attention, yes. We are scheduled to begin peace talks with the Tenryo Commission soon. The Kamisoto clan has arranged for them to take place in a neutral location. Kujo, Sara, and I will be accompanied by our guards. We will use the talks to discuss future plans in detail. But just as arrangements for the peace talks began to fall into place, I started hearing rumors of collusion between the Kujo clan and the Fatui. Uh, allegedly, their goal is to completely wipe out Watatsumi Island. If that's the case, then the peace talks are likely a trap. Even the Kamisato clan could be involved. Sir, are you quite certain that your goods were stolen by the Fatui? Yes, it's the truth. I, I swear. They stole my goods and then they ran off that way. I'll bet that's where that hideout is. 
Very well. Mm -hmm. The potential ramifications of this incident are serious. We will retrieve your goods, and if everything is in order, it will prove your innocence. However, if we find evidence to corroborate the claims of collusion between the Fatui and the Tenryo Commission, I expect you to fully comply with our investigation. Do we have an understanding? Yes, of course. <sighs> Thank you, Your Excellency. Matsuda? Uchimura? Well received, Your Excellency. Good. Now, Traveler, I mean, Captain of Swordfish Platoon Section 2, would you join me in the investigation? <laughs> Hattie, soldier. For the time being, at least, we are in peacetime. Besides, I'm sure you won't be on Watatsumi Island forever. Whatever titles we may have, we're friends first and foremost. If we do find the merchant's goods in the hands of the Fatui, it'll prove he's innocent. Whatever's going on between the Fatui and the Tenryo Commission, we need to get to the bottom of it. This must be the Fatui camp that the merchant was talking about. From the looks of it, it used to be a Hilichurl camp. Who knows why the Fatui occupied it? Not by brute force, that's for sure. But that's not a problem. The terrain here gives us an advantage, and we haven't given away our position so far. Our enemy is in the light while we are in the shadows. Strategically, we have the upper hand. Hmm. I think we have three options available. Option one, take the king and its checkmate. The Fatui's presence in Inazuma is weak at present. Nothing more than a few scattered remnants. If we strike from above and take down their leader first, the rest of them will be hard-pressed to put up a serious fight. Option two, hit them where it hurts. Over there, for example, a store of gunpowder cakes. If we manage to discreetly set the gunpowder alight without alerting them, it would deal them a devastating blow. They'd be caught completely off guard. Both their morale and fighting capacity would be severely impaired. Option three, use the environment against them. We're close to the sea here, so the air is very humid. I can gather the water vapor, you add a touch of lightning, and together we can shock them into submission. Wow, that's our grand strategist. It's a lot to think about though. Which option should we choose? That will depend on our assessment of our own abilities. A surprise attack from the air is the quickest solution, but requires superior combat skills. With an explosion, we could rapidly reduce their numbers without a protracted battle, but absolute stealth would be required during the operation, or we'd risk exposing ourselves. If we decide to take advantage of the environment, we should be prepared for a lengthy siege. <sighs> so, which is your preferred option? <laughs> it seems that you share my strategic sensibilities. This is my preferred tactic. It places us in the least amount of danger. Let's work together to give them the surprise of their lives. Take flight! 
wind knows me. The explosion was roughly the size I expected. Hopefully we've given them a fright. One with nature. Sam! Let's move out. live or die on the strength of those executing them. Winning a battle takes a concerted effort from everyone involved. Victory never belongs to a single person. Now that you mention it, Paimon did make a pretty big contribution, huh? Hey! I must admit, I wasn't expecting to find the Fatui laying low in a Hilichurl camp. Presumably, they've been operating out of here in secret for quite some time. What's their objective? Are the soldiers right? Could they really be in collusion with the Tenryo Commission? Let's scour the camp for evidence. If the merchant's story is true, the inventory should be here. Alright, time to take a look around! <laughs> Hey, look here! Could these belong to the merchant? There's a lot of stuff. Some of it has the Tenryo Commission emblem. Yep, this has got to be it. Whoa, this place is chock full of bomb-making materials. This is way too dangerous. We should tell Kokumi right away and figure out the best way to deal with it. So these are the Fatui food supplies? They look a little past their best. Is this really all they had to eat? Kokumi! Kokumi! We found the merchant staff! Look! Hmm... I see... Oh, nothing. I just zoned out for a moment. Let's see here... Yes. These are the stolen goods, all right. Food, medicine, farming tools... All essential for post-war recovery. And he was probably stockpiling them until he could make a handsome profit. By contrast, it's doubtful that the Tenryo Commission has any need of these items. So the idea that he was supplying them doesn't make a lot of sense. In all likelihood, he's just an opportunistic merchant. Nothing quite as scandalous as Matsuda and Uchimura had imagined. Uh, he's hardly a saint, though, right? How could he stockpile things that people are desperate for? We're not just gonna give them back to him and let him go, are we? It doesn't feel right. Don't worry. I had already foreseen this. In my recently issued post-war temporary decree, I included restrictions on the prices of essential everyday goods. These items will ultimately reach the people at a reasonable price. If he had taken the time to read the decree, it's unlikely he ever would have ended up in this predicament. Kokumi, you think of everything! <sighs> I wish that were true. Take this alleged collusion between the Tenryo Commission and the Fatui, for example. I'm still completely stumped. <sighs> the low energy doesn't exactly help. Uh huh? What do you mean by that? Nothing. Come on, let's take the goods back. It's not long now until the victory feast. It'll be a race against the clock to get all of this resolved before it starts. Got it! 
First we mend the peace, then we attend the feast. My goods! You got them back, huh? Thank you, Your Excellency. And thank you, Captain. Uh, you see? I, I told you I was innocent. Hmm. I'm not so sure. You could have easily planned the whole thing with the Fatui in advance. Based on the information we gathered from the Fatui camp, there's nothing to suggest he had any correspondence with them. Had it been the case, then knowing how the Fatui operates, they would have left some evidence of it. Uh, but what if... No ifs, no buts. We've recovered the goods. As agreed, this is sufficient to establish his innocence. Uh, apologies. Guess we got carried away. <laughs> ah, what did I tell you? You army numbskulls don't have a clue. All brawn and no brains coming to me with your crazy conspiracies. Lay off me next time, got it? Sir, I'm afraid you're getting ahead of yourself. You may be innocent of the accusations originally leveled at you, but hoarding essential goods is a crime under the temporary decree. You must bear the consequences. You have already admitted to being the owner of these goods, so we are obliged to respond with appropriate measures. In addition to enforcing the sale of these goods at the accepted rates, there will also be a fine. The amount of which... Wait, 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 Your Excellency, whose side are you on here? I have no business taking sides. As the Divine Priestess of Watatsumi Island, I abide by the principle of clear and consistent rewards and punishments. Just as merit must be recognized, mistakes must be penalized. You may have been proven innocent of the more serious allegations leveled at you, but this does not exempt you from bearing the consequences of your mistakes. Wait a minute! I... but... Uh... Well, don't just stand there. Take him away. Time to pay up. Your Excellency, he says all the goods belong to him, but it doesn't add up. Those of a Tenryo Commission emblem are probably his, but not the rest. Especially these ones. They're clearly for shrine use. Hmm. It seems the Fatui simply dumped all their stolen goods in one place. Leave the shrine paraphernalia to me. As for the rest, I'll leave you to sit through and try to track down the owners. I know, that's a lot to ask. Not at all, Your Excellency. We're on it. But if I may, Your Excellency, uh, maybe there were no signs of collusion in this case. But our people know what they saw. Something is going on between the Tenryo Commission and the Fatui. I know the peace talks are coming up, so please keep an open mind. I understand your concern. I'll be sure to give it further consideration. Hmm. I'm going to take these items back to the Sangonomiya Shrine. Why don't you come along for the walk? Watatsumi Island observes different customs than the rest of Inazuma. I imagine it must all seem a little alien to you. since I last came to this village. There's been a lot to deal with recently. Next time you visit, I'll take you to visit Watatsumi Island's old shrine. You know, the earliest shrine on Watatsumi Island was not located in Sangonomiya. 
it was close to the Statue of the Seven. Back then, the people of this island recognized the Shogun's existence, despite not venerating her as the Shogunate do. But after she struck down our protector deity, the shrine was abandoned. Relations between Watatsumi Island and the Shogunate have soured ever since. Mistrust has become deep-rooted over time. I've been hoping to raise all this at the peace talks and discuss it properly. Grievances have to be let go eventually. Your Excellency, what brings you out this way on your busy schedule? Oh my, you're looking a little worse for wear. You need to take better care of yourself, okay? All of our fates depend on you. Hmm. Thanks for your concern, but I'm fine. Your Excellency, I beg you, heed a word of advice. After all this time fighting the Shogun's army, peace is not something that can simply be declared. If we reconcile with them, the god who once protected us will have died in vain. Come on, that's ancient history. Besides, the fighting is barely over. We should be grateful to be at peace once more. I know, I know, it's just... <sighs> We should remain strong in these negotiations. We mustn't be too ready to compromise. I appreciate your concerns. I will consider the options carefully, and be sure to proceed appropriately. Wonderful. We're all counting on you, Your Excellency. Oh! Your Excellency? Well, I'll be... Fancy meeting you at a place like this. Uh, do you know, my daughter's enrolled herself in the Shrine Maiden selection process this year. I if she makes it into Sangonomiya, I'll... I'll be one very happy mother. You're a kind and gracious leader. She'd be in very good hands. I'm always telling my daughter that if she gets the chance to learn from Her Excellency directly, she must make the most of it. I mean... Just look at Her Excellency, still so young, but so mature and intelligent. My daughter has always looked to you as a role model. Well, if she comes to Sangonomiya, I'll look out for her. Ah, Your Excellency. Boy, am I glad you're here. As you know, agricultural output has taken a pretty big hit this year. Let me bring you up to speed on the latest situation. Oh, uh, Your Excellency, isn't this the captain of Swordfish 2? Will he be based on Watatsumi Island from now on? Your Excellency! <sighs> Please, remain calm, everyone. I'll get around to all your queries. Though, for the longer ones, I'd prefer it if you could write a report and submit it to the Shrine. Then I can respond to each one as and when I have the time. <sighs> Are you all right? <sighs> Me too. <laughs> it does get pretty annoying. Your Excellency, here you are. There's been a situation. We're still waiting on the delivery of a whole batch of ceremonial items. I'm beginning to worry that they've been stolen. Oh, we retrieved those already. No need to worry. Really? That's fantastic! You never cease to amaze us, Your Excellency. I sorted through all the petitions received recently and placed them on your desk. Also, according to the schedule, you're just in time for your meeting today on the development of the textiles industry. That's today? Uh, right now? Yes, the two young ladies have arrived safely. We're just waiting for you. Hmm... I see... <sighs> I was hoping to take a walk around the island with you, but it looks like we'll have to save that for some other time. <sighs> oh, let's rendezvous tomorrow at the entrance to Sangonomiya Shrine. Then we'll go and make preparations for the Victory Feast. Yay! The Victory Feast! Um, just to be clear, we're talking lots of delicious food, right? <laughs> That's the name of the game. There'll be some Watatsumi Island specialties, which I'm sure you'll enjoy. Great! See you tomorrow, then! <sighs>
She doesn't seem like the type to show up late to things. Uh, let's wait a little longer. How is she still not here? Do you think she could be in trouble? Let's go ask that soldier over there. Are you looking for her, Excellency? I'm afraid she isn't here at the moment. I don't know where she's gone. So strange. Guess we should just call it a rain check then? Not necessarily. If I recall correctly, Her Excellency has made special provisions for such a scenario in her general operational directives. Uh, let me see. Uh, ah, yes. Number 98. Should a visitor from afar come to see me, and should my whereabouts be unknown, direct them to proceed southward until they arrive at a tree with purple foliage. The footnote stipulates that this only applies when Her Excellency has made no communication regarding her whereabouts before disappearing. And even then, only when the visitor in question is of VIP status. As far as I'm concerned, you two tick all of the boxes. I keep this directive on me at all times. I'm sure this is the right course of action. Kokomi really does think of everything. All right, let's find the place she wrote about and have a look. I'm not feeling my usual self today. <gasps> you got sick? We'll go find a doctor right away! No, no. It's nothing like that. It's just... Uh, my energy is completely spent. You... you run on energy? <gasps> you mean you're like a ruined guard? No. It's just a figure of speech. Oh, I'm ashamed to admit it, but I can't always be the infinitely capable person I present myself as. Oh, you noticed? I guess I haven't quite mastered the ability to hide how I'm feeling. I'll keep working at it. To be honest, 
I'm not really cut out to be a leader. At first, my dream was to read up on military strategy and perhaps become an advisor. Constantly communicating with people, trying to retain their morale, having to read between the lines, making sure everyone gets the recognition they deserve. It's such hard work. You're somehow supposed to make people feel wonderful, just from being in your presence while also commanding their respect. It doesn't come naturally to me. And truth be told, it's something I never wanted for myself. But because of my bloodline, I was always going to end up being the Divine Priestess, sooner or later. Like it or not, it's just the way it is. So... Whenever I feel overwhelmed, I come here to just lose myself in a book and relax for a while. Don't worry, it doesn't affect my work. I handed over preparations for the victory feast to someone else. I have to make a speech tonight, and I mustn't give the troops any reason to suspect that something could be wrong. This peace was hard won, and I want them to feel at ease. Is there anything we can do to help? I should be feeling energized again soon if I hold off on work for a little longer. <sighs> if only there was some way I could listen to a good read on military strategy. I'm sure that'd speed up the process. I was reading a book last time I was here, but... I only got about halfway through. <sighs> Where did I put it? We'll find it for you. And then we'll read it out to you, to help you recover! You... do that... for me? Thank you. <laughs> I'm really lucky you came back to Watatsumi Island. She's resting? Sanganomiya Events Cash Flow Statement. Consolidated Annual Report on Fishing Production. Watatsumi Island Monthly Maintenance Expenses Breakdown? This is a lot of work for one person. And it's on top of all the directives she has to write and the people she has to meet day to day. It's no wonder she gets burnt out from time to time. <sighs> Let's track down that book and help her feel like herself again. Hey, look! Could this be the book she wanted? Swordfish Captain came back today. Energy plus four. Uh, uh, that's... that's just... Uh... Give it here. <laughs> Guess that was the wrong one. Let's keep looking. Right? Look, there's even a bookmark! None of the other books have one, so she must have finished reading those already. Ooh, it's pretty dense. Paimon doesn't understand a thing. Well, let's take it over and read it to her. Is this the book you wanted? Hmm... I'm not sure, actually. Could you read a bit out loud? <sighs> yes, that's the one. Thank you. Kokomi? Kokomi! Oh no! She's fallen asleep! What are we gonna do? Tonight's the victory 
feast. Not to mention that the peace talks are just around the corner. She's got so much to do. You sure that's a good idea? Hmm... She does look pretty exhausted. Guess there's still some time to go, too. Alright, let's keep her company while she rests. Avoid disaster. <sighs> Protect peace at all costs. The war's over. <sighs> Things are slowly getting better. Oh. Did you see? <laughs> what time is it? Did I fall asleep? Yep, you've been out for ages! It's nearly time for the feast! <sighs> I can't believe it got so late. <sighs> I haven't slept that peacefully in so long. That's gotta be three whole energy points right there. Should be enough to see me through the peace talks. Thank you. Well, we better get ourselves over there. It's nearly time to light the bonfire. Woohoo! Kokomi's back to full energy! Good to have you back. Time to go. <laughs> it looks like everything's in place for the feast. But I still need to give a quick speech before the festivities begin. Oh, how much energy will that take? Do you think you've got enough? Don't worry, I've got plenty. Thanks to you two... I recovered more quickly than usual. That's great! We'll be rooting for you! Welcome, everyone! Today is the day that we celebrate our victory. Recently, our war with the Shogun's army came to an end, and we finally saw the abolition of the Vision Hunt Decree. None of us can know what the Inazuma of the future will look like. But tomorrow, I meet with the Tenryo Commission for Peace Talks. I give you my word that I will strive for peace for Watatsumi Island once and for all. Thank you all for your valiant efforts throughout. Truly, it is only through those efforts that we have been able to prevail in this trying war. This feast is held in honor of each and every one of you gathered here today. I hope all of you get to relax and enjoy our hard-won victory. Yeehaw! Tonight seems to have gone off without a hitch. I'm so glad it's all going smoothly. People tend to be more open when they're in a good mood. Uh, could I ask you to go around and see what information you can gather? I still have no further leads regarding the issue of potential collusion between the Tenryo Commission and the Fatui. And I'm concerned that something might happen at tomorrow's peace talks. Okay, sure. We'll go ask around. Ah, <sighs> Watatsumi Island is finally at peace. And it's all thanks to Her Excellency, Sanganomiya. Recently... Um, let me think... Well, the biggest thing for us is that we can finally get back out on the ocean to fish. During the hostilities, the open sea was full of warships. We just had to make do with what little fish and shrimp we could get our hands on closer to shore. When the catch wasn't good, we'd all go hungry. Oh, the poor kids were crying all day and night, but there was just nothing I could do. We'd go to bed ravenous and be tossing and turning all night long, trying to keep it together until the morning. At least things are finally improving now. I hear you're captain of Swordfish too, is that right? Well, thank you for your service. Here, have a fish. 
It's freshly caught, so it's a bit, uh, fishy. But it's fine. Oh, no, no, no. We couldn't possibly. Ah, come on, take it. Without you, we'd probably still be going to bed hungry tonight. Her Excellency always teaches us to repay kindness with gratitude. Uh, okay, well, thanks. Come on, let's go talk to some others. Hey there. Care for some fruit and vegetables? Nature's remedy when you overdo the barbecue. Are you referring to the thing about the Tenryo Commission and the Fatui? I've heard rumors, but nothing too detailed. It's funny you should say that the soldiers seem excitable, though. I've had the same feeling. See that guy over there? He's been acting strange these days, always shouting and waving his spear around when he's got nothing to do. He scared the heck out of me a few times. Ugh, it's a miracle the fighting has finally come to an end. Yeah, I really hope we don't go making any more trouble for ourselves. Sorry, I'm afraid I don't have much information. If you still have questions, you may as well go and talk to him. Sounds promising. Let's go see what that guy's deal is. of booze. Huh? Wait, wait, don't tell me. Captain of Swordfish 2, right? You actually came back. I thought you'd abandoned the platoon and made a run for it. Nuh-uh. We would never run from a fight. <laughs> is that so? All anyone talks about these days is peace and stability. Do you remember what the most important thing is to the Resistance? You got that right. So I'm gonna put you to the test. Time to see if you truly are a bona fide resistance warrior. I'll answer your questions, but only if you can beat me in a duel. Ugh, this guy. Would it kill him to just have a normal conversation? <sighs> what do you think? Are we gonna do this? <laughs> we'll see about that. You're a strong fighter. <laughs> no wonder Her Excellency chose you. You really do have a warrior's will. <sighs> then maybe you can understand us. Captain, uh, comrade, will you join us? Uh, we made it up. The story about the Tenryo Commission colluding with the Fatui, it didn't happen. Yes, that's exactly what we're hoping to achieve. Peace talks? Tch. Everyone's been drawn in by the idea. That's why the future of Watatsumi Island is at stake. What's to stop the Tenryo Commission from stabbing us in the back? And what's to stop the Raiden Shogun from issuing another Vision Hunt decree? We are the Resistance. Everything hinges on our warrior's will. We can't trust the Tenryo Commission or the Raiden Shogun. But we can put faith in ourselves. Surely you agree with that. Uh, his point does kind of make sense, but something about it doesn't feel right to Paimon. Yeah, everything you said just now was pure speculation, wasn't it? Are you seriously willing to make up a wild rumor and ruin the peace everyone's worked so hard for, all because of some imaginary situation that may not even happen? Don't take that tone with me, acting like you're above all of this. 
What would you understand? For the sake of victory, we embodied the warrior's will to the fullest. You understand? We were all in. Now they're suddenly trying to tell us that none of it matters anymore? You'd have me just put down my weapon and start living like an ordinary person, but how can I? How can I when... when every time I close my eyes, I see the faces of the friends we lost in battle? Every time I see them there in my mind's eye, it reminds me that I can never forgive the Tenryo Commission and never forgive the Vision Hunt Decree. <sighs> I guess you're not one of us. Well, whatever. Go ahead and tell Sangonomiya if you want, but you're too late to stop us now. Too late? What do you mean? Hmm. Darn. Doesn't seem like he's gonna answer that one. What are we gonna do? This is really serious. We need to give Kokomi the full story right away! So, we found out a few things. The whole thing about the Tenryo Commission colluding with the Fatui is baloney! They made it all up! They wanted the peace talks to break down so that they could carry on fighting the war. And they said it's too late to try and stop them, no matter what we do. Hmm, I see. I'm fine. Don't worry. This is my fault. If only I'd perceived what they were feeling earlier, it never would have come to this. I think I understand what Kozen means when he says it's too late. The talks don't begin until tomorrow, but both sides have already sent their guards to the location. They are responsible for making sure the area is safe and secure. I highly suspect that one of Kozen's pro-war co-conspirators will have infiltrated the guards with an intent to reignite hostilities tomorrow during the negotiations. Well, that's no good. Do you want us to head over there now and switch out the guards? That won't work. Firstly, the act of bringing a new team of guards to a neutral negotiation site will put both sides on high alert. It would almost certainly push the pro-war faction into taking action. They would attack the Tenryo Commission's guards and we'd be in danger of war breaking out once again. Not to mention that we have no idea how many of Watatsumi Island's soldiers are involved in this plot. If we change the guard in haste, we face the issue of not knowing who to trust. Sounds like a really tricky situation. Oh, so is there really nothing we can do about it? Don't let it worry you. What's done is done. <sighs> now it falls to me to devise a counter plan. These soldiers crossed the line, but the blame is not theirs alone. Whatever happens, I will find a way to ensure they do not come to harm. Let's meet here again tomorrow. Directives I wrote last night. These negotiations are complex to be sure, but I thought about it carefully and realized there are no more than 187 possible outcomes. I took the liberty of writing them all down. This way, you will be able to adapt with speed, no matter how the events play out. Whoa, this is huge! 
Let's see. Fierce dispute, violent escalation, armed revolt, coordinated attack, seize hostages. Wow, there are so many. But you've thought of a solution to each one. Paimon suddenly feels a lot less nervous. Glad to hear it. These peace talks are quite exceptional. It is a major step forward both for Watatsumi Island and the Shogunate. But any amount of dissatisfaction within our ranks weakens our negotiating position. We will have to work all the harder if we want these talks to be a success. As the Divine Priestess of Watatsumi Island, this responsibility is, of course, mine to shoulder. But would you be willing to lend me a hand? Excellent. Okay, time to head off. Follow the wind. It's been a while, Kujosara. I believe the last time we met was on the battlefield. Yes, where you dealt my forces quite the devastating blow. But before we go any further, what are you doing here? That's right. He's here to bear witness to the proceedings. He experienced the war between us firsthand, and has made an enormous contribution towards securing the peace we have today. I couldn't think of a more suitable candidate. Seems reasonable. Then let's get straight into it. The first item is the maritime administration issue. During wartime, we restricted fishing rights for Watatsumi vessels in Narukami waters. We intend to remove these restrictions. But going forward, any of your vessels that fish in our waters will have to pay taxes in accordance with Narukami legislation in order to bring their catch back to Watatsumi. That's fine. But if they're paying taxes, they should also be entitled to protection from the Tenryo Commission while in your waters. Any losses they sustain due to issues of public security will need to be compensated by the Tenryo Commission. Accepted. Let's add that to the peace treaty. I can assure you that your vessels will be quite safe in our hands. Negotiations seem to be going pretty smoothly. The next item has to do with the movement of people and military authority. In the past, our people have been subjected to lengthy interrogations on arrival in Watatsumi. And the same has been true for your people on arrival to Narukami. Economic cooperation between our islands has suffered greatly as a consequence. Few merchants are now willing to engage in inter-island commerce. Since the war is now over, I propose that we have the Yashiro Commission appoint a business council to oversee trade between our two islands. The problem there is that trade is a reciprocal affair. We'll need to involve merchants from both sides in this process if it is to succeed. We cannot give the Yashiro Commission full authority. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Watatsumi Island facing severe shortages of many essential goods at the moment? Having the Yashiro Commission organize everything centrally would work in your favor. True, we're experiencing some shortages, but we will recover in due course. 
Between the diverse range of goods we can produce ourselves and our strong trade links with other areas, we are capable of sourcing everything we need. Not to mention that your proposal would require separate talks with the Kamisato clan. If they've yet to sanction it, I believe you are going beyond the remit of the Tenryo Commission's authority. Let's leave that aside for now, then. On to the military question. Watatsumi Island's forces will need to come back under the jurisdiction of the Tenryo Commission. That just isn't feasible. Not in the short term, at least. With all due respect, feasibility doesn't come into it. The Tenryo Commission alone has ultimate responsibility for Inazuma's national security. We cannot allow Watatsumi Island to be the sole exception to this rule indefinitely. <sighs> you Kujo scum! Colluding with the Fatui isn't low enough for you already! You just want to take everything away from us! Comrades, never trust the Kujo! Let's get them! <laughs> uh, protect Madame Kujo! <laughs> <laughs> Number 16! No, wait! 67? Or is it 73? Uh, which one is it? <laughs> uh, 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 moment. Stand down, Tadakatsu! Situation has changed. Please stand by for further orders. Rest assured, I am fully aware of your concerns, but I will deal with the situation from here. Madam Kujo, this is rather serious. I believe you owe Watatsumi Island an explanation? Excuse me for a moment. Nobody makes another move until I have finished investigating. You two, here, now! Speak! Collusion with the Fatui? Is this true? Um... I wouldn't exactly call it collusion, as such. We were approached by a few... Fatui. Uh, they mentioned a potential cooperation to keep the war against Watatsumi Island going. At the time, I felt like we could give it a try. After all, there'd be nothing to lose. But we were extremely careful. We didn't agree to anything. We just said they could maybe start by heading to Watatsumi Island and stirring things up a little. Then we'd see how it went. With respect, ma'am, there was no collusion. It was just a one-off conversation. How anyone from Watatsumi Island even found out about it, I have no idea. That's enough. When we return, there will be consequences. Might I remind you that this is the Fatui. Have you completely forgotten what they did to us? You should be having no interaction with them whatsoever, let alone entertaining offers of cooperation. <sighs> so, what did they want out of it? The Fatui's main forces have already left Inazuma. The few who approached us seemed like they wanted to settle a score for their boss. Oh, her subordinates. So they're out for revenge. They want to keep Inazuma in a state of turmoil. One day, I will hunt them down. Every last one. We bear responsibility for this issue. My sincere apologies. I have my own negligence to blame for this state of affairs. Please, grant us another chance to continue the peace talks. <laughs> but of course, Madam Kujo. I have every confidence in your ability to resolve this situation. For the time being, however, there is evidently some discord within the Tenryo Commission's ranks. I would therefore not feel comfortable releasing Watatsumi Island's forces into your command at this time. It seems that I must acquiesce. I will lay this issue aside for now. But we shall revisit it as soon as the Tenryo Commission has resolved our internal issues. As for the trade issues we raised, 
I will discuss options with the Yashiro Commission and make sure both sides have ample participation in the final arrangement. Seems like Kujo Tsara's on the defensive now. These negotiations should be smooth sailing from here on out. I never knew the grand strategist of Watatsumi Island was a skilled negotiator, as well as a formidable commander. I hope that when we meet again, we can continue these sit-down discussions. Settling our differences on the battlefield is rather taxing. I think we can leave things there for today. Once I get back, I will conduct a thorough investigation into the Tenryo Commission's internal issues. I should inform you that we took out a Fatui camp recently. I suspect that before long, they will attempt to re-establish contact with your people in the hope of procuring some assistance. I recommend you say and do nothing on the matter for the time being, lest you tip them off and they disappear. Wait for them to come to you. That way, you can capture them all in one fell swoop. I will bear this in mind. Thank you. I shall take my leave now. Until we meet again. Your Excellency, we... Let's discuss it after we get back. Your Excellency, you knew? I have already been informed on the reasons for your actions. You believe the Tenryo Commission to be untrustworthy and sought to sabotage the peace talks and reignite the war. Fortunately, the end result exposed and thwarted a secret Tenryo Commission plot. Yet, this was purely incidental, and the end certainly did not justify your means. But Your Excellency, so many comrades have sacrificed themselves in the line of duty. If we stop now, aren't all of our efforts going to waste? I want to keep fighting. I want ultimate victory, even if it means I have to pay the ultimate price. I understand your sentiments, but you cannot simply impose your will and expect others to bear the consequences. During the war, there were highs and there were lows, and in the end, there was a glorious victory. For you, perhaps, the experience was one of great excitement. But you saw nothing of the countless others who will remember the war quite differently. Most people suffered terribly through each day. Watatsumi Island's people yearn for peace because they have long since given all they had to the war effort. They are tired of treading water, and don't need you dragging them back underneath once again. I... but... I understand, I do. And the fault is not yours alone. It was largely an oversight on my part. They taught you to nurture a warrior's will, but never how to let it go. It's not your fault, Your Excellency. It was ours. Our selfishness. Either way, we are ready to accept sentencing under martial law. Very well. Then I hereby declare... But as of today, I am founding a new secret corps of the army. This division will be responsible for keeping Watatsumi Island safe and secure, neutralizing any and all threats to the peace of our island. You and your comrades will all be welcome to join, but be warned, the training will be grueling. Perseverance and grit will be in high demand. Your Excellency, what are you saying? I have concluded from today's peace talks that the Kujo clan cannot achieve absolute peace and stability in the near future. Many seek peace, but there are still those who pursue war. It is right that Watatsumi Island moves towards peace, but we must still retain a defensive capacity. Those whose warrior's will is alive and well, I invite you to embark on the most challenging training regimen of your lives. I don't want to hear from any of you again until all of you can take on two Shogunate Samurai at a time. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. All right, dismissed. Go and report to General Goro. And remember, 
there can be no more insubordination. And if there is, there will be no more leniency from me, whatever reasons you may have. Yes, ma'am. From now on, we will focus on our training. Thank you for this opportunity, Your Excellency. We'll report to General Goro right away. <sighs> I think that's finally everything in hand. <sighs> I can feel my energy levels starting to drop. <sighs> Meet you back at the hideout for some rest? Thank you for everything. With your help, peace has been restored on Watatsumi Island once more. Hmm, recovering. Slowly, but surely. I should be raring to go before too long. Today was a reminder that I don't cope well in situations with lots of people. I've improved, but I still get nervous when more than a handful of people are involved. <laughs> I think I might get Goro to handle the negotiations next time. Do you think so? <sighs> to be honest, I'm still a long way off what's expected of a divine priestess. In the past, I was concerned only with winning the war, restoring peace, and making sure everyone could live a happy life. But I realize now that wasn't going far enough. People have all kinds of aspirations, and just as many measures of happiness. I have a long way to go, but that's okay. If I can't make the journey in one giant leap, I'll just have to settle for taking it one small step at a time. In short, I've still got some maturing to do. Hmm. Could you stay here on Watatsumi Island? Mm, to keep me company for a while longer? <sighs> 